What's up, my nuggets? Mr. Phantasmo here. And this is the first episode of This Week in Gaming. This Week in Gaming. Twig! If you don't know what This Week in Gaming is, well, neither do I! This Week in Gaming is actually a rundown of everything that's happened this week in gaming. That's right, everything. We're gonna be here a while. Four hours. So anyways, let's just get right down to business. I'm your anchor man, Sultan Leonardo. And this is my weather man, Sally. How's the weather, Sally? This week in gaming, there is big news, and I'm talking big news. But we're gonna save that, and instead I'm gonna tell a less interesting story. First up on our news bundle, PlayStation announces that it's going to improve PlayStation Plus, the service that it offers optionally to PlayStation Online users. The improvement that they made is they actually give you something with PlayStation Plus now. It's more than just a gold cross by your name, because now they're just throwing free games at you. I don't know why they would do that. Anyways, they're planning on releasing Shank 2, the sequel to the highly anticipated Shank 1, for free on April 3rd. So if you want to sign up for PlayStation Plus, you can get many games. Shank 2, Shift 2, which is almost the same thing alphabetically as Shank 2, but it's a completely different game. Maybe. You never know. PlayStation Plus didn't have anywhere to go but up, so they might have just slightly slightly gone up. I don't know. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get on to the big news. Robert Bowling quits. That's right. Robert Bowling quit from Infinity War this week, saying, quote, I hate Everyone here, you guys suck. You never microwave the muffins before you bring them into the conference room, and you always leave the coffee in the filter. This is my final stand. I'm here. And then he ran away. Right after that, he went to a McDonald's across the street where he knew David Vondahar frequented. If you don't know who David Vondahar is, He's the community manager for Treyarch. They're enemies. Sometimes they bullfight, and there's not even a bull in the ring. They just have their capes there, and they flick them up in their face like this. Like Reptar and Godzilla. <sighs> Robert Bowling goes into the McDonald's and kidnaps David Vondahar. They're currently in the hostage situation right now. I hear that Robert Bowling is dressed up in a juggernaut suit with a clown nose on. My ear also hurts really bad. The news that I'm getting is just fabricating from my head, so... Anyways, more on that story as it develops. But look forward to a new community manager for Infinity Ward down the road. Now for my favorite part of this show that has never once been created at all, but I still think I have a favorite part. It's called... Game of the Week. Our Game of the Week this week is called Depth. And if you were thinking, Depth, that sounds like a game where you can get run around in the sea, and by running, I mean swimming, and you can swim in the sea and eat people that are trying to just swim and get treasure, then you're exactly right, because that's exactly what Depth is. You can take the role of a shark massacring a family in their life raft, and there's nothing better to do on any night of the week than just that. So let's take a deeper look. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Now I know what you're thinking. Innocent divers that coincidentally have guns. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Sharks swimming around everywhere. All they want to do is get their treasure. But all this game wants to do is be the best game ever. So let me introduce you to... Depth! Yeah, that's right. This could be the best game ever made, although it's not out yet. Um, I figured I would make it the game of the week because look at this. Look at these sharks with their eyes in their mouths just swimming around feasting 
on innocent divers and these divers are not innocent this is actually a multiplayer game where you can choose to be either the shark whose job is to solely eat people just like in real life or you can be the diver whose job is to try and stealthily sneak by and steal a certain amount of treasure in order to win the round so far this game has only been said to be released on PC but um, I will keep you guys updated in the future on if you console gamers will as well be able to kill sharks so um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this first week of this week in gaming if you liked it be sure and rate it uh, it means a lot and I will see you guys next time peace nuggets